Good evening. In this video, we'd like to show you the huge difference in compression resistance of our mortar made rebar chairs versus common plastic spacers. In the first test, we compare bar chairs for floors with 50 mm cover height. You can observe initially that an external fissure forms due to the pressure applied, but our spacers are still intact up to 100 psi, measurement at which it fails completely. As you can see, plastic bar chairs started to form almost immediately, not guaranteeing the correct cover height set for your floor, which constitutes a serious structural failure. If we continue to apply pressure, the space collapses completely and no longer can function as a reinforcement steel support. The result is pretty clear. The resistance for these types of concrete spacers are 5.2 times greater than plastic supports which allows you to use less of these elements per square meter without any risk of them breaking. In our second test, we compare bar supports for foundations with a cover height of 30 millimeters. Let's keep in mind that foundations are usually built over natural terrain. That is the reason why the base of these spacers has to be wider and more stable. Also, the rebar diameter used for foundation reinforcement is usually thicker than in other types of concrete structures. Therefore, the spacer to be used must have a decent load bearing capacity. On the other hand, in the first test we can observe that spacers for floor slabs have sharpened edges on which they stand, so that they don't leave any marks on the concrete port so that you don't have to patch the floors afterwards to keep an aesthetically pleasing finish. The smaller contact points translate into lower load bearing capa capability. The result is what you would expect. The resistance achieved by a concrete spacer is 4.2 times greater than a plastic one. There is simply no match for the compression capability of concrete made supports. In the third and final test, we try again spacers designed specifically for foundations, but this time with a 50 mm cover height. The type of plastic spacer used is also changed for one with supposedly better stability and resistance. Once again, we see how the concrete bar chair develops a fissure in its exterior, but is still intact for up to 224 psi. On the other hand, the plastic chair reaches only 22 psi before deforming completely. This, this means you can load up to 10 times more steel rebars without the necessity of using additional units. Due to this, in a large foundation, savings can be considerable. As you could observe, all along the test we applied pressure up to the point where the go go gauge reaches the maximum reading in PSI. At this point, mortar spacers crack and plastic ones keep deforming without increasing the pressure reading. Thank you very much for your attention.